What viewpoints do you hold on reality? What lenses are you looking at reality through? Or what boxes are you putting whatever this is into? This can be quite an important and profound inquiry to start uncovering and bringing up all our views and perceptions of reality and what we believe reality is. For wherever there is a viewpoint, there is a root of a mind identification and viewpoint which usually always lead to suffering. I, whenever this viewpoint is challenged, or from looking out from your viewpoint and seeing other viewpoints as wrong. We hold so many, we put so many boxes on reality and we don't realize it. Now that may be more surface like a scientific view or maybe we hold a religious view or even call it subtler views like I am consciousness or everything is consciousness which can be backed up by experiences but it's important or even everything is empty as a we view reality from that lens reality is dreamlike empty of essence and we got to watch out of thinking that we can can come to the conclusion of truth we must let go of all views, even the view that there is no views. All these teachings and all these pointers are, are bridges to, let's call it the unborn, unnameless, wouldn't even call it essence, non-essence of whatever. Something that words, concepts, or can't touch because, yeah, I, I'm not going to go into the whole because, yeah, <laughs> it just gets confusing and paradoxical. But, yeah, back to what I'm trying to convey is that there is no view that is, you could say, you could call the truth because everything at the end of the day is just a thought or a concept. And this is just a view as well but it's a view to let go of all, all views. That's its purpose. And these teachings and words like consciousness, emptiness, and all the stuff is, is designed, are fingers pointing to the moon. But once we, once the moon is seen, we have to let go of the, the pointing. Because if we make, if we mistake the finger for the moon, that is, I guess you could call it where, where we will suffer. Where we will say, you're right, I'm wrong. Or I'm right, you're wrong. And it's important to keep this in mind. I'm use the words, use the descriptions, but at the end of the day, let them all go. And fall into that which can't be known with no safety net, no identity to stand on perspective. You never go with your mind, this is it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys 
the next one.